hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in the previous video tutorial as you guys remembered that we have successfully stored the user post information inside the firebase database so now a user can successfully update or you can say add a new post inside our social networking app now in this video tutorial we will display i mean from this tutorial onward first we will display all the user post on the main activity or you can say on the home activity now to retrieve all the users post from the firebase database we will be needing a firebase recycler adapter but before we proceed to that all we need is to set a layout first for the for displaying the user post so in this video tutorial first of all we will uh, set a, we will create basically a layout for displaying the post so now you can simply click here on this layout click new and click here layout resource file and let's call it all post layout all post layout dot xml all post layout dot xml click ok and you can see that our all post layout.xml file is created successfully and now the next thing is click on this text and first of all let's change this constant layout to the relative layout and then we have this uh, Android width, Android layout width, so the width will be match parent and the height will be wrap content for this layout, for this all post layout. So make sure to do the same which I did here, okay? The layout width should be match parent and the layout height should be necessarily wrap content. So make sure to set the layout height to the wrap content. Now inside this a relative layout so here we need a linear layout so we can say linear layout the width will be match parent and the height will be wrap content and inside this linear layout okay first of all we have to uh, set some I mean to do some settings for this first linear layout so first of all the orientation for this one for this linear layout will be vertical and then the layout margin bottom will be 3 dp and the margin left will be 10 dp and the margin from the right will be also 10 dp and margin top should be also 10 dp and from the bottom it should be 4 dp will be good okay so so 4 dp yeah that's it and now inside this vertical linear layout and make sure to set the orientation to vertical okay so inside this vertical linear layout we need another linear layout and the width should be match parent and the height should be wrap content and we need to do some settings for this linear layout so we can say margin top margin from the top will be 1 dp and the padding should from all the sides will be 5 dp and then we need to give it an orientation so the orientation for it will be horizontal make sure to set the orientation for this inner linear layout to horizontal okay so this is our horizontal linear layout now inside this horizontal linear layout I mean this one is our horizontal linear layout so now inside this first we will display the user profile image so we need a circular image view which is this one that is de dot hdo this one okay the first one and the width will be 60 dp and the height should also be 
60 dp and the source for it will be the default profile which is uh, present inside the drivable folder by the name profile okay you can see it here which is this one and now let's give uh, uh, an id to this so we can say id android id id and the id for it will be post underscore profile underscore image oh sorry remove this minus sign it is underscore okay post profile image and the scale type for it will be scale scale type will be center crop which is this one so this is our profile image and we have to set a margin from the left so we can say margin left and the margin from the left will be 4 dp that's it and now after this image we need a text view to display the username so here we can set text view and width should be match parent and height should be wrap content okay we have to create i mean okay first let me tell you that this is our image okay and this is basically the vertical linear layout and now we are inside i mean we add this image inside the horizontal linear layout now we need here a vertical layout so what we can do we can simply cut this text view from here control x okay we don't need to uh, add here i mean the name so what we will do after this uh, horizontal linear layout okay this is our horizontal linear layout after okay not after this we have to create another linear layout inside this horizontal linear layout so inside this horizontal linear layout after this circular image view we will create another linear layout so we can say linear sorry linear layout the width should be match parent and height should be wrap content and first uh, we have to make sure i mean to give it the orientation and the orientation for this will be vertical so this is our second i mean our third linear layout which is vertical layout which is inside the horizontal linear layout okay so now inside this uh, vertical linear layout we will paste that text view which we created earlier okay so this is our text view now let's uh, assign some text to it so android text and this will be the username so we can call it username and let assign some id to it so we can say id android id id will be post post profile underscore name that is the username or or instead of calling it post profile name we can call it post username okay this is more uh, unique name i mean this is good i mean the id name post username and now we need to assign uh, some margin from the left so we can say margin left 5 dp and some margin from the top and from the top it should be 8 dp and we need to set a text alignment for it which is this one text alignment and this will be text start and the text size should be text size should be 16 sp and the text style should be bold and the text color should be at the red android which is this one android color when you write this then this color will appear here okay so you can simply select this black color let me zoom this so that we can see it more clearly that is how our design looks now after this text view we need uh, another linear layout to display the time date and a text which will say that is on which time and date the user update a post okay below we are going to uh, 
uh, set I mean create that layout so that here below this username we can display the time and date for the post so here we can say I mean the width will be match parent the height will be wrap content and inside this linear layout first of all let's set the orientation for it to horizontal okay so this is our another horizontal linear layout okay this one which we created now so let's some let do some setting for it uh, so margin margin left will be 5 dp and the padding for it will be 2 dp now inside this uh, horizontal linear layout we will add i mean we need three text views okay so let me write here the first text view uh, width will be match parent and height will be the content okay first of all so the width for this uh, text view will be also wrap content okay the width and height both will be wrap content make sure to use the wrap content for the width and for the height for the both okay and let's give it some text so the text i mean here we can simply display a simple text which will be just telling that is has been updated a post has been updated a post now let me tell you that here will be the username so here will be written that is username has been updated a post and now the next thing is that here we will display the date and the time so first we have to do some settings for this first text view so here we can say so the text color for this will be android color and the color will be darker gray and the text size for it will be 13 sp and text style will be bold now let's uh, let assign some id to this so we can call it Android ID and the ID for it will be just a text. It is just a simple text which we will be displaying every time for the post. Okay, now we need to add a text view for displaying the date and time. So we can say for the time saving, we will copy this text view and we will change it for the date. So for it, we can say the ID will be post underscore date. And the width will be wrap content, the height will also be wrap content, and the text will be dat, d a t e dat, and the color will be black, and the text size will be 13 sp, and remove this text style for from here. Okay, so this will be our post dat, and now we can simply copy this and we will change. We will paste it down here and we will change it for the time so change the id of it to post underscore time and wrap content wrap content it will be now the time and then we the color will be black and the text size will be 13 sp so you can see that this will be this will looks like that which is this one let's say my name is muhammad ali so here it will be written that is muhammad ali has been updated a post on time and date i mean here we will display the time and date of that post that is at which time and on which date the user updated this new post so yeah in this way this is our for linear post i mean our linear layout the horizontal layout we have added this three text view here which where we display the date and time and this text now the next thing is to display the post description so for doing that all we need is to to just come out from these three linear layouts and we are going to here okay that is the this is our last linear layout above this last linear layout we can say i mean above this last linear layout okay so here we can say text view here we basically need a text view to display the post description so the, uh, the width will be match parent the height will be wrap content and then here we can say and or text and we can say post description i mean here we will basically display the post description 
and let's assign id to it so we can say android id and the id for it will be post underscore description and now let's assign some margins so we can say from the left it will be 3dp and from the right it will be also 3dp and padding from all the sides will be also 3dp and the text text size you can say text size for it will be 14 sp and the next thing is the text color so we can say text color and the text color will be color black and now after this text view we can simply display the post image so here we need uh, an image view so we can say image view the width will be match parent and the height will be 200 dp okay and then we can define the layout margin so the layout margin from all the sides will be 3 dp you can see that okay this will be the area for displaying the post image from the firebase database for every post and then we can say adjust view bounds to true and the scale type for it will be center crop and now let's assign an id to it so the id for it will be post image post underscore image that's it oh sorry post image so you can see that this is the whole design for displaying i mean the user post from the firebase database so this is the layout which we created so this looks beautiful okay and once now so we have assigned ids to every field so yeah this is it for this video and in the next video tutorial we will uh, basically uh, retrieve all the user posts from the firebase database and we will display all the user post on this home activity or you can say on our main activity so yeah this is it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel and see you guys in the next video bye for now